feel like I'm this weird guy they just let into their homes. Upside down on the floor with the cat. parking spot for the night. We've got bathrooms in the parking lot. Two of them Better with showers. showers. Can't beat that. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty stoked. That. I'm really hot. I'm we, crabby. I don't want to fucking be doing this right now. Let's go get a shower. Love Cole. If you would have told me that I would have been stoked to shower in a random public restroom like a year ago if you would have told me that I don't think I would have believed it but thank god for that shower it's just warm and the brain just don't want to function when it's warm sometimes all right I'm gonna walk over to the freedom fest I feel kind of bad because I laughed when I brought up freedom fest when we were in the uh, marina office but I just think it's anytime I hear like something like freedom fest it just makes me laugh for whatever reason. <laughs> Monica's not feeling any carnival food right now. Neither am I really, but if I see something appealing, I may get it. so good. We just started a new series on our channel called Cole Eats Strange Things or Strange Eats on the Road. Don't even know what I'm calling the playlist yet, but I'm going to link it up in the uh, corner. So go ahead and click on that and you can check out one of the new videos. So that soft crab was complimentary of Elmin Seafood. It was really delicious. I assume that is just a juvenile crab because I guess the shell gets harder with time and that's what protects a shell or a crab god have i mentioned that when it's hot outside i can't talk this is american as we get cheers cheers year and a half at McDonald's <laughs> there's no local cafe or coffee shop and it's a Sunday nothing's open we're in the smallest town in America Cole talked to a local and he gave us directions to a apparently very nice public beach nearby so he didn't say very nice he said it's a public beach though so we're gonna go check it out I thought he said it was nice I mean I'm sure it's nice it's a beach well hopefully it is and hopefully they have a shower all right, I believe this is Willington Beach Park. It's a public beach here in Crisfield. Monica's hanging out. Bus and an RV friend is over yonder. We haven't met them yet. But I figured I'd uh, walk the dock there. Seems like there's people that have been like crabbing and fishing. All right, say hi. Hi. What's your name? My name is Edgar. And you're, uh, are you guys crabbing right now? Yeah, I'm helping him. Awesome, you guys caught anything? Yeah, we, um, yeah, we, we had to, it's small, so we have to let it go. Ah. Well, hopefully you guys can catch something and show the vlog. Okay. We have some already. Oh, do you? Yeah. Do you want to show the vlog? Yeah, awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Wow, those are good size. Let's see if I can get the lighting to change. Very cool.
All right, we are at Evelyn's home. And uh, she's graciously <laughs> given us a parking spot. Would you like to say hi to the vlog? Hi, how are you? <laughs> and uh, she even offered us to uh, be able to fill up our water. Oh, that's awesome. And she, oop, I got water on the camera. She uh, also has the largest driveway I've ever seen in anyone's backyard. Fun fact. And then I'm a fiber artist. And then I'm also a collage artist. I'm a painter. These are all, so you've made these all of these. Backup. Oh my God, they feel so soft. Oh yeah. yeah like so guys, soft. you have yeah, to get one of these. these, by, um... <laughs> these are amazing. Oh, that's adorable. I like that. It's like retro. I love that. It is yeah, not yes. adorable. Yeah. It's funky. Uh, well, yeah, it's well, it funky. is funky. It is funky too. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> feel that. Oh my that goodness. This is so soft. I can't tell you just yeah, how really soft yeah. Yeah, this is. Messing everything up. I just like, if I, I just would, I'd just be in public feeling my hat all the time. <laughs> Ooh, and we have wraps. We have wraps. Are these made out of a paca too? Yes, they are. Is it it's, a It's alpaca have, and silk. Alpaca. I have a friend that has an alpaca. These are just the softest. She never knows what to do with any of it. Oh my goodness. Guys. I'm all I'm I'm down on the scarves. I think the scarves are where it's at. These are amazing. I can't tell you. I'm just yeah. like feeling you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this it's is an like alpaca kind of... that's been washed and carded, and it's a bat. A bat. A, it's called a bat, and you um, <laughs> so layer weird. the bats over, and then you create a process where the fibers will start to interlock. And okay. there's different processes. So there's cool. different ways to do it. Gotcha. You and know, then you, you dye it yourself and all of that then. I do. I do. Okay. I do all of it myself. Oh, yeah. Of course. It has to be. That is really cute. Maybe not on you, Cole. I don't think it's your look, but. Yeah, he's That is this. darling. She's very sweet. She's just, like offering everything to us right now. Evelyn's adorable. Thank you, Evelyn, for allowing us to stay in your driveway. This is really kind. Yes, it was. She's offering us a shower, fill up our water tank. We're eating dinner with them. We're going to walk down uh, to yep. Linda's now because Linda is making dinner yep. and we get to meet her. Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go to Linda's. <laughs> You'd be like, why do we have to be on camera? So I keep this door shut and locked. Hi. Oh my gosh. She's oh the my gosh. coolest looking cat I've oh. ever seen in my life. Are you friendly? Hi. Yeah, you're giving it Whoa. a plant. Are you kidding me? It looks like an this ocelot. Freaking leopard. Cat. I'm in love with this Bengal cat. They didn't tell us they had a leopard. This is drugs. They brought you drugs. Does, does catnip get, get cats high or something? Yeah. Does it really? Yeah, they act all crazy afterwards. On catnip? Yeah. I had no clue. Yeah. This is Linda. Oh, oh my god, let me do my makeup and she's, hair. Oh, she's not ready yet. Okay, we're gonna meet Linda in a second. <laughs> You guys have everything, even tigers. It's amazing. Tigers. Please, please don't scratch me. Guys, this is amazing. I will get four of these cats okay. with no problem. Yeah. Chanel, you've got the wrong cat. <laughs> I feel like I'm this weird guy that just let into their homes <laughs> upside down on the floor with the cat. All right, Linda, I'm going to officially introduce you. This is Linda, the uh, second of the uh, awesome force of Crisfield that we're running into here. And, and what's the name of your shop one more time as she takes a full bite of food? The Bay Gift Vault. The Bay Gift Vault. And it's located inside the old bank of Crisfield. You can find information on both of these women in the description below, so go ahead and check it out. 
I'm a Bengal and I'm 15 months old. My name oh, is Leo. This is my mommy. He's so She's cute. very mean to me. She doesn't let me run around outside like I want to. <laughs> All right, let's, we're going to do right. one more cheers. Thank you so much Thank for dinner you this evening. So much. And Thank we'll be bringing you lovely. more tomorrow morning. Yes. Hi, good morning. I am extremely wet this morning. I filled up our water tank, our solar shower bag. It uh, rained overnight. We left the fan open on the bus. We didn't hear it. And a lot of water got inside of the bus. And it's still drizzling, but we're going to head inside. Evelyn said she may have coffee in the morning, so we're going to go test out that theory. Oh my god, my cat's here. Guys, my cat's here. Yes, he is. <laughs> hey, buddy. Tiffany's in New York City on Fifth Avenue has the same, the company did the same vault wow. back in the day. And there's a Bobby Vans on Wall Street that has the same vault. That's so and cool. they've turned it into a wine cellar. <laughs> Leo's stuck in there. Hi, baby. <laughs> Thank you so You're much. Welcome. That is precious. We kind of changed up our plans today. We were going to go to Astigue, uh and check out the horses, but it's kind of overcast and rainy all day. So instead of rushing over there and kind of having half of a day, we decided just to make it kind of an extra travel day. And so now we're heading over to, is this the Crisfield Museum? The Crisfield Heritage Foundation. And Governor J. Millard Taws National Museum. Horrific. Yeah. I'm excited. We're also here now with Jalea, who is an intern for Linda, coming up here. So if you see someone random with us, that is who's with us. Yeah. Monica's going to show you how to get stuck in a crab trap. <laughs> you go in there, and then you're stuck. <laughs> and then you become a sandwich for coal. Are they found that big? That was way back in the day. Now they're half the size. It's my hand. Yeah, and that's crazy. Yeah. Cole's got his crabby nachos. Crabby nachos. For crabby boy. It smells like pizza for some reason. It does. It's the cheese. Yeah. You're eating without us. I am. <laughs> They're good. Crab is definitely there. It's definitely there. Wow. That's oh, wow. Good. Look at this is what she makes. This is so cool. Oh, that's cute. All right, we're not anything. I knew you weren't even about to wait for me to take a video shot of it, so. No, of course not. I jumped in. Monica got the grilled cheese. Actually, everyone got the grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. All right, so things are getting interesting in Crisfield. Uh, we stopped into the visitor center off of Linda's recommendation and have been chatting with a fellow named Kim Lawson, who was the mayor of Crisfield from 2014 to 2018. And uh, he's willing to outreach his connections a little bit around town. And tomorrow morning, we're actually gonna be going to a crabbery. I don't even know what you call it. Uh, we're going to a place where they process crab tomorrow and going to be documenting that experience and he's also attempting to try to get us back out on the water to uh, get another experience out on the islands uh, here near Crisfield. I just have to continually remind myself of the, the farmlands and the roads that we drove in order to get in here. Like we're really far back to here. They've nicknamed Crisfield 
the gateway to the Chesapeake. And it's just an amazing water town, tons of fishing, tons of crabbing. It's probably the most unique experience, at least from a town perspective, that we've had on this whole entire trip. So if you haven't heard of it, check out Smith Island, check out Chris Field. It's definitely worth uh, making a stop. Kim is working really hard for us to get us in with a few people. And I think we're gonna have some really good prospects to show you guys around town. Well, 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 well. We were there for two hours. Maybe longer than that. So the situation is bus life is really getting strange. <laughs> uh, thanks to Kim, we're potentially gonna be lining up going to Tylerton tomorrow. Um, we'd be taking a different ferry out there, potentially even staying the night at a and b This would probably be a great uh, place to plug, um, you know, helping support the channel. Uh, below we have different ways that you can shop through Amazon, purchase some of our merch. Mm -hmm. uh, Monica is going to be coming out with an ebook soon. Uh, potentially different ways that you can support the adventure, campgrounds, adventuring, our diesel budget. We want to be bringing you guys as many cool different experiences, talking to people, places, and things, and we want to try to keep this journey going. So by doing any of the things below in the description would really help us out, continue to bring you awesome things ahead. be a huge help. Um, I don't know what's going on on my head right now, so excuse my weird hair. Um, we are in our parking spot for the evening behind the visitor center, and it smells of the sea. Huh? Did you tell them that it's stinky? I did tell them it's stinky. The sun's setting over these condos on the waterfront. It's nice. This is going to be the uh, the crabbing company we're going to be checking out tomorrow. Yep, right there. Edgar, my man. <laughs> Thanks for the coke. Appreciate it. Been saving it. For a special occasion. I might even have a sip. And now is the time. I don't remember the last time I had. I haven't had a regular Coca-Cola in gosh knows how long. I don't even know if I've ever seen Monica drink a Coca-Cola. So this is like a first for me. Wow, that's sweet. It's evilly good, you know. <coughs> <laughs> it is good. Like, I can have a couple of sips and I'm like, mmm. It's like nostalgic, but... Past that, I just feel like I need to be cleaning a rusty bumper. We have this stuff at uh, Janelle and Christian's, and it's delicious. So, if you see this in your local grocers, try this curry sauce. Carrots, zucchini, broccoli, curry. I'm doing some editing. I'm running into a pinch. If we end up going on this island excursion tomorrow, I won't be around to upload our video for Wednesday. But just remember, I'm working hard for all of you. I didn't really have to do anything. I just had to cook vegetables and rice. If you want Monica to do a tiny bus kitchen episode of this recipe, put in the comments and I'll make her super easy. It's the first super awesome sunset since we've been here. Maybe since we've been on the road, too. I figured this is maybe a good time for a coal rant for you guys. I'm really big into helping others, like, really identify what they're truly most passionate about and, like, really going towards that and what's the smartest way of going towards it. And one of the things I've talked about previously, especially with my uh, film meetups that I ran in St. Louis, was really identifying your actions and behaviors. You know, everyone has bad behaviors. Everyone has a lot of inaction. I have a lot of inaction and a lot of bad behaviors at times, but it's uprooting those, those bad decisions or the times that we're procrastinating and really taking advantage uh, of the opportunities that we have right in front of us to stride towards what we want to be doing in the future. You know, it took Monica and I two years to make bus life a reality you know, and I was in the same boat as a lot of you guys in regards to, no pun intended, on the whole boat situation. You know, I was at my job and I wasn't really happy. It was a decent position and I was able to properly save money, but I wasn't saving money really at the time. I was just putting a little bit away. 
I wasn't really truly capitalizing on what I had and reassessing what I could be doing. You know, the moment I started to get smart with my money is the moment that I knew that my future would change. It's difficult, you know, like I understand how hard it is to get a reliably a reliable paying job and I know what student loans is like you know Monica still has a lot of student loans that she's dealing with uh, you know I know the struggles of like you know having kids and dealing with that and trying to make your dreams a reality you know not personally but I totally understand what a lot of you are competing up against if you averaged your actions and behavior over the last two years, if you just average that all together, what you've done over the last two years, and you just set that shit on repeat for the rest of your life, is that a lifetime that you're going to be truly happy with? And for me, it wasn't four or five years ago, and I don't know if I'm still quite there, but obviously Bus Life Possible and what I'm doing now is much more in line with what I'd like to see my life be going forward and if you answered no it's not what I'd like my life to be based off of my actions and behaviors over the last two years is like write them down like write down what you haven't been doing uh, write down what you have been doing write down what you've been doing bad what you've been doing good and reassess yourself and especially reassess your time a question that I'd ask groups of individuals when we come together for meetings was how many hours are there in a week and on average, I'd say 97% of people didn't know how many hours there was in a week. You know, we know there's 24 hours in a day, 48 hours in a week, 72 in three days, maybe 96 hours in four, but we don't know that there's 168 hours in a week. And I don't know if that really says much, but to me, it says a lot in regards to how much we appreciate our time and also how much we get really sucked into the negative bullshit that we're dealing with in life. It just takes a lot out of you and it's really hard to keep goal oriented and really positive about what type of future you can create for yourself. It's just so cool to be at a point, like I still have a lot of angst, I have a lot of anxieties, I have a lot of anger and frustration still. Uh, I get hangry a lot. Um, but it's just incredible that, you know, we're here right now like we're out here exploring and really living our dreams completely in the present time it took several years of fucking hating the majority of what i was doing you can make it a reality like you can really make whatever you want to do a reality it's just a matter of proper planning and reassessing what the fuck you're doing with your life